What's up folks, Dan here, and uh, working on a project I figured I'd bring you guys along on. So, I've got a party coming up this weekend. It's my traditional yearly Oktoberfest party, and every year we have a tradition of throwing pumpkins in some horrific and terrifying manner. I apologize for the sound of the road. Uh, so, this year we're doing a slingshot. Last year was a big old trebuchet. This year's a slingshot. Now, you missed day one, because I didn't even think about filming it. But basically what we're doing here is we're building a base. And uh, you can see ample usage of zip ties. One of the challenges for this one was to uh, not really spend any money on it. So you can see constructed mainly with pieces of tree from my backyard and zip ties I've had lying around and various screws and stuff like that. So. Day two, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and reinforce these up right here that I made. And uh, we're gonna put some on the other side here and possibly some side supports too. We're gonna see how it goes. And then we're going to rig up the actual slingshot mechanism. I've got a whole bunch of exercise bands that I got for that. It's the only thing that I bought because I know I'll use them again. And uh, we'll go from there and we'll see how it goes. So, enjoy. Now I want to take a minute and talk about what I'm not doing that I should be doing. I'm not pre-drilling holes. I'm not using wood of an optimal diameter. I'm not really using even the right size screws for what I'm doing right now. I'm anchoring things with zip ties that shouldn't be anchored with zip ties. This whole thing is basically just a hot mess. But that's part of the fun of it. <laughs> so just to update you, quick look. You can see I've got a little splitting going on right here in the wood. I'm not super concerned with that because this isn't really, can you get that right there? Let's see. Because this isn't really a perceived failure point for the machine. This is more of extra reinforcement. It should not be taking that much in the way of lateral forces on that side. 
Like it shouldn't be, these parts should not be pushing outwards at all. So the splits shouldn't matter so much. These are just to reinforce some of the ricochet is gonna come back this way when the slingshot fires that way. Most of the force is going to be on that end of the machine. Hence the heavier supports on that side. Because you're gonna start here with the pouch holding the pumpkin and the exercise band is gonna be anchored up here and you're gonna pull back. And you're gonna pull back on this. These forks right here is gonna take all the force and you're gonna pull back this way and it's gonna add a lot of force to this end. Now I'm gonna throw some sandbags on the front forks here to help weight it because you can see it already kind of tips back a little bit. So I'm gonna add some sandbags. Um, other things that I'm considering is uh, possibly uh, putting some ropes here and side anchoring that way so that when the slingshot pulls back and it pulls inward, it's already pretty strong that way, but I wouldn't mind reinforcing it. And I don't want to stick crossbars any higher than this because I don't want a chance the pumpkin hitting it. So, but for now, we're going to just go ahead and start working on the pouch and the bands. We're going to see how they do as is with a simple test fire. Just so you can see, I just tied these to just one exercise band, the black bands, those are the heaviest. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the other ends, and I'm just gonna zip tie these suckers around the uprights, and this is really just a very basic dry test fire. Um, the pouch strings are not the right length yet, the pouch needs to be shortened up a little bit, and I need a better anchoring mechanism for putting these around the uprights, but I just wanna give this a shot and see if it can handle even like the most basic of uh, uh, stress on the structure and then maybe throw a little bit of weight with it. We'll see. I didn't hate it. It's a little scary when you're pulling it back. <laughs> I'm gonna go get some weight and we'll give that a shot. All right, so I got the weight that we use for testing these. This is around four pounds, maybe a little bit less of sand. Probably closer to three at this point. It's lost some over time. Um, generally, we throw five pound pumpkins or a little bit less than five pounds. So again, this is not max weight. I didn't take it to max draw last time either. Like I could have pulled it back further because I don't have weight on this end. And I was a little concerned about it snapping back and hitting me in the face. But you know what? I feel like for science, we have to at least try a full draw with just one set of bands. And we'll see how that goes with the weight.
Not bad. It went to, let's see, I'll show you where it went. If you look just to the right of that black pole right in the middle of the screen there, that's about as far as it went, which, you know, in all honesty is not that bad. Um, I'm gonna have to cut it for now. We're gonna pick up again in a bit, but I have to go and pick my son up from school as we do the book fair. But, I'm feeling pretty good about this so far. That wasn't bad. We've got four more bands we can stick on there, and then I've got a bunch of ribbons as well that we can stick on. And, uh, well, sorry, we, I'm sorry, we have four more tubes, and I've got six bands we can stick on there to gradually increase the resistance to this sucker. But I want to come up with a better way of securing them first and uh, possibly add some weight too. <laughs> All right, we're back and uh, we're gonna try. I kind of figured out a way of attaching things relatively easy here. Um, I've got some zip ties right here. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna zip tie, stand by. I'm gonna use a bunch of zip ties to secure an O-ring to the, uh, the upright. And then I've got a little clip that I'll be able to easily hook the resistance bands in and out of. So we're gonna give that a shot and see how it goes. It's recording. Yeah? Yeah. Well, don't stand right in front of it then. <laughs> All right, so I want to bring you over and show you what I did for attaching these. So over here, you see I've got the O-ring and zip tie securing it to the tree. And then right here, I've got a clip and I can stick the uh, resistance band loops into that. I've also got a safety loop right here and a safety loop right here for each piece of metal. Is that if for some reason 
you know, the zip ties here snap, there'll be something preventing this from coming back and smacking the uh, user in the face. And I am probably going to break my rule about not spending any money on this and uh, just get a rope and tie off on the top here and anchor it down on the ground somewhere around there by where the uh, foot of the uh, the base comes to because if this breaks like off the top here, like if this snaps off the top, that'll also help that whole contraption from flying back and hitting the person in the face. So, even though it's a risky contraption, it's not entirely deadly. Not entirely. All right, so for the test fire, I've rigged up just a, a little J-Rig system here. I'm actually gonna go to Home Depot and get a few more supplies in a bit, but we have to go ahead and get this squared up before this guy has to go back to his mom's house so he can fire a couple of pumpkins. So I'm gonna show you over here. So you see right here, these are actually the handles that came with the resistance bands right here. And uh, I'm just using it as a temporary clip to hold on the bands right now and then you attach the pouch right here. What I am going to do is that I'm going to get some actual spring-loaded carabiners for this part right here because I don't trust the flimsy plastic on this for multiple fires. But it'll be okay enough for now. And uh, then we got the pouch on the end. So, next step and final step before first test fire of a real pumpkin is we're going to go and get sandbags to put on the ends there. For science. For science. Alright. Oh, right there. Right. Heads up, Jack. There. Oh my. Yeah, where? You're throwing this. Oh. Jackie, that's not a safe place to Right here? No. Either get, like, further around the corner, or... My car's safe. I'm still here. Alright, Captain. Go. Alright, off. Off. Hands up. Grab on. Alright, go 
get it. You guys need to get low. I know. Pull it back and then you're gonna come hold it and let it go. Okay? <laughs> now we can have pumpkin seeds for dessert. All right, go pick, go pick up the halves up there and bring it down. I'll show them to the camera. A half. And that one. All right. Come on, go show them to the camera. Da da da. <laughs> Here, let's go show them up close. We got pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin destruction. Near optimal. Pumpkin seeds for dessert. So one of the things that we need to do is get a little bit lower on the uh, angle of attack. So I think I might boost up the front end of it. And then we just got to put some more resistance now, on. So now I got those extra resistance bands. Now I'm going to have pumpkin guts on my head. Yes. Yes, you are. <laughs> you will also become a pumpkin? No. Sure. Yes, sir. So we're going to make some modifications and uh, I'm going to upload another video from tomorrow from the party itself. And you'll see the pumpkins actually flying up the hill. Nice job, pumpkin head. You have pumpkin juice on me. It's alright, it's good for you. All right, so we're gonna throw a pumpkin in a minute, but I just wanted to show you the final version of what was going on here. Um, so I took the ribbon bands, which you can see here, and the tubes, and I married them together by passing it through and then zip tying the bands around the tubes. And then up here, you can see I've got an O-ring, got a beaner, and uh, this goes all the way back to the pouch housing which is where we have another carabiner. And uh, then on this side, we have the same. If I can get it untangled, there we go. This is actually post-firing a bunch. And the idea was this O-ring here is supposed to be part of a trigger fire mechanism, so you pull the full pouch back, and then you're gonna have a, a pull pin that this hooked into. Unfortunately, I just ran out of hardware and time for the party, and I'm honestly not going to go and buy more stuff now just for this. So the idea basically was just to sandwich this between two other O-rings that were attached to a wooden block that was secured into the ground, and then have a pull pin that went between them so that it held it back. So basically this would get pulled back and just anchor like this. My thumb would be the pull pin, you pull a string, the pull pin would come out, and it would launch the... Uh, pumpkins. That was so that anybody could fire it as opposed to just people that were strong enough to pull back the weight. And actually at the party itself, we would have two people pulling back the weight because it took that much tension to really get it out and get it to fly. So without further ado, we're going to grab a pumpkin and actually throw it. Ta-da! Now, unfortunately, I uh, could not pull it back as far as we got with two guys. I got back to about, right about there. However, with two strong people pulling, we go back to about there. And we got that sucker all the way up and over that hill and into the garden behind it, which was pretty cool. Uh, one final modification I want to point out also, I elevated the front, just to get a higher angle of attack on some cinder blocks as you can see there, and then anchored it down with some sandbags that I had lying around. But that's it, that's the Pumpkinator 2016 version. It's not elegant, 
it's not pretty, but it did the job pretty well at our party the other night. We had a good time slinging some pumpkins, and let me tell you, with two guys pulling back and really launching those suckers, they exploded. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I want to do more builds of crazy stuff in the near future, and hopefully not quite as questionable as this quality, but still fun, fun stuff. So, uh, thanks for watching, and as always, remember to live boldly, change the world, and continue to be awesome. Bye-bye.